Yo, what's up guys? It's Troy D. Welcome back to the Troy D 24-7 Mall On Point Reviews all day, every day. So today we're back with uh, a top five, actually. And uh, I'm going to, uh, you know, step away a bit from my usual like niche designer continuum, if you want to call it that, where I'm kind of jumping between niche and designer. And we'll talk about indie. Now, I reviewed this house, um, a couple of fragrances from this house, uh, a few, like last month, I would say. Um, but I really want to let y'all know that actually this whole time I had the whole collection with me. Uh, thanks to a good friend of mine, DB, from Behind the Nonsense. Make sure you follow him. I'll link him below. And uh, basically, this house right here is an indie house that... I'm quite impressed with um, you know I do consider price all the time I do consider the way that uh, a fragrance actually uh, comes out that the final product and uh, I'm also the type of uh, person that uh, for me like hardcore projection and hardcore longevity uh, is not something I prioritize okay so I know that, you know, there are other like clone houses that go hardcore on that. But um, to me, I really like the natural progression of perfume, which means it projects well. Uh, you know, the there is some sillage in it, but it to me, it, it just feels weird for it to last for like, I don't know, 12 to 13 hours. You know, it's just, I don't know. You know, I, I come from the old school, you know, free, you know, a decade ago wearing like blue de chanel edt and you know I, I wouldn't have wanted that scent to smell on me for like 10 to 12 hours you know that's just me so anyways today i want to talk about the top five happy land fragrances now this is not based on my choices but this is based on the perfumer's choices ej wells so before I, I was able to acquire this collection, I asked EJ what he thought his top five was, you know, and he's the guy that made them. So that this is really interesting for Happy Land, uh, uh, you know, people that are new to Happy Land and to those that are already into Happy Land. I'm sure you guys are going to find this interesting as well. I don't know if you guys already know his top five, but you will find out today. Okay, now before I continue, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys again for your subscriptions. We're blowing up like crazy. Um, I think we're at 1700 right now. And uh, I do believe that number is going to go higher, you know, pretty soon. Um, you know, just because we're just nonstop doing this stuff and we're giving you guys what you want. Um, and today's, uh, today's really quick, uh, you know, kind of message of kudos really comes from uh, Abu Dhabi uh, apparently you know I have peeps out there in Abu Dhabi watching this video and you know they discuss that you know they love watching my videos because of the choices uh, that we have out there as well as the uh, the way that I, I review them so thank you very much to my friends in Abu Dhabi um, salam alaikum all right so Today, we're going to talk about Happy Land yet again. Now, I just want to straightforward tell you guys that these things out here that you're looking at are $55 each. And um, I believe if you follow the, their Facebook group, Happy Land Facebook group, I'll link you guys below. They do have a 25% discount. So, I mean, if we're talking about quality for inexpensiveness, like I have to say, like, this is really it. You know, it's, it's a great great brand if we're talking about that and you know that i mean i collect the most expensive stuff you know uh five hundred dollars you know um but but if you're on like the fifty dollar range and you've never heard of this i hope that you take this into consideration because and I, and again i'm not promoted by them i'm not being paid by you know ej or anything like that um this is just me and my experiences so let's go quickly into his top five so his number one on his top five is called amberland okay amberland uh this one right here has bergamot it's got orange it's got amber vanilla uh patchouli uh but to, to me this one here is uh something i would really enjoy i would say in the winter uh because it's it's got that that luscious amber uh 
the orange i can really smell it. it 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 feels great it feels very uh warm and cozy that's what it is um and it, it is something i can imagine myself wearing if i had a coat on or some layers on uh during the winter okay um but this is this is popular within uh happy land uh collectors i've seen a lot like you know buy it right now and wear it um i'm pretty sure it can be worn in any weather i'm just saying that you know to me uh weather wise like this is something i would wear in the winter okay um it's also got this nice sandalwood um and uh ej noted that this is can be also worn by women okay so uh hmm yeah i mean it it is you know it is i think that even women can wear this i agree with him um you know just because it's got that that sweet warm cozy amber type fragrance and again there is nothing in this fragrance so far okay so far there's nothing in happy land that suggests that it's like super synthetic or it's uh unnatural and i i just don't like that it's just weird you know it's like it develops exactly as a perfume should so amberland is number one in ej's list now number two on ej's list is green irish tobacco now i did review this uh i had a full video of this actually so just search that on our playlists uh this one really knocked my socks off and i i always said you know i put it on the video i said this smells dangerous you know because it's got you know all these great elements uh that make it such a great perfume this one has a uh, lemon verbena iris tobacco violet vanilla tonka bean and ambergris um what can i say i mean you can watch the whole video but i wasn't a fan of green irish tweed okay so uh and tobacco to me has always been kind of like a hit or miss there's there's the mancera red tobacco that a lot of people are kind of raving about but i'm not raving about it and so having them together i was really skeptical but eventually uh when i tried this on i mean for me it's like its own fragrance i i i i like the way that the tobacco isn't really strong it blends perfectly in this and i've always said that this is such a it's a great work scent office scent but then at the same time it's like it's dangerous i can you can wear it like after the office and you know meet somebody and it, it smells so attractive so green irish tobacco is ej's number two so let's see let's see let's see so number three on ej's list was uh cravat noir cravat noir okay so when i tried this one you know mind you i didn't check anything okay i just put it on and immediately almost immediately i was like ah oh, this is ysl tuxedo or you know something you know really close to it um yeah i mean put simply it's tuxedo um or it it smells very close to tuxedo very very familiar um so this is i would say easily one of the cheapest alternatives um to tuxedo because you know i'll i'll tell you guys i own the uh the the, the mustache and the mustache actually it costs more and it's it's its own like perfume okay uh but this uh cravat noir is is has that tuxedo scent for sure and uh and that's why when i sprayed it i i was like sniffing it over and over and i was like wow this is something i know and i was like oh it's tuxedo um so for those looking for like a budget tuxedo um don't forget this okay before you guys you know want to buy the the mustache um is different the mustache is a little bit different i think that this is inspired by tuxedo so um i think that this might even be closer to tuxedo uh rather than the mustache all right so cravat noir that's number three and uh yeah i mean guys that's it 50 50 bucks minus 25 off i mean yeah that's that's pretty nice okay next up number four so we're almost done guys you know i'm going through this really quickly thank you for your patience number four is happy land signature happy land signature okay so this again is a warm 
you know it's 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 a warm fragrance okay it's definitely a warm fragrance um it does have uh tobacco honey and uh it, it is uh kind of like a gourmand right uh and people people do bring this up they they bring up owajan um i don't know like i didn't i didn't really smell owajan and i own owajan it's like you know it's hard to it's hard to really say anything like that when it's like your one of your favorites okay um let's take a whiff of this one let's let's try it right now see if it's still owajani i just made up that word yeah um um hmm. i'm smelling it right now and it does have that apple pie okay it does have that apple pie but it's it's not owajan okay so I, I want you guys to appreciate it for what it is that it's like an apple pie honey tobacco uh fragrance but it's not owajan that's for sure uh reason being um parfums de marley they kind of have their own dna okay which is there's something oriental about their fragrances so even if you had like the apple pie type deal um because you know pdm has their own dna it's still different okay but i'm not i'm not knocking this down mm, this is still you know still a very nice like apple pie uh, gourmandish type scent um is it warm it's it's sort of warm not really but yeah it's it's nice it's nice that's all i have to say all right to me this one this one's nice um gourmandish not warm that's not what i feel okay and not wajan all right but nevertheless still good especially for the price can't beat it <laughs> yeah and this is not my top five i mean this is the perfumer's top five i mean maybe there's something personal about this stuff maybe you know about it when he was making this you know maybe had some something special tied to it um okay so last one is uh believe it or not it's not seven i was blown away by seven i have a review on that one and it's not man okay it is uh paisley sky all right paisley sky is number five on ej's list so you know when i when i reviewed or when i just like tried on happy land um i i have a kind of like a feel towards like what the clients are of happy land or what the general uh generalization of the clients are of happy land and to me like if I was like a gentleman type of dude, like I could have a field day on Happy Land, you know. Um, I seen uh, Ross from TLTG reviews, and like, yeah, I get it why he got the man, sh you know. Like, why did he have that perfume? Because I feel like you know he's one of those type of guys that is like the quintessential like, you know, client of Happy Land. You know, if if I was like a Ross, I would. Yeah, I would have a field day with Happy Land, okay? But I would say that if Happy Land had like an odd sibling, you know, out of all of it, it, it would be the Paisley Sky, <laughs> all right? Um, this one here, I mean, I don't know if the label is pink because it's denoting that, you know, it's for the, the, the female clients, uh, but it definitely um, leans uh, femme, at least to me. Now don't get mad guys if there's any happy land guys out there they're like no it's not i mean this is just me trying everything and having kind of like a general feel of all of them all of these top fives like i can see all of these as like a gent scent you know what i mean like you know amber land for the winter a green irish tobacco same thing happy land signature same thing uh cravat noir is like your tuxedo ish one and then you've got this like oddball right here which is paisley sky which is made out of nutmeg ilang ilang lavender patchouli mirror musk oud um hmm, yeah i mean it's 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 the different one for sure um 
and like I said, it, this one I think if there are any female viewers, like you might want to try this one. Uh, they they all I would say that these five, minus maybe the cravat cravat noir, because the you know, tuxedo has this very like stinging type type scent. I mean that's how I describe it, but everything else here is kind of like the warm and cozy type even the paisley sky okay even the paisley sky uh it's got this like warm uh, comforting component which i think is just you know i mean again for the price uh i think it's a win and like i said you know it's it's how they develop you know, it develops like a real like natural perfume like nothing nothing added onto it that will say oh well here's like a synthetic bomb you know because like the, the problem with that that i have and i'll say that you know on nishane hachivat for example like it just it it just smells like perfume plus chemicals you know and it's like i don't know if i want that um and uh i haven't tried all the clone or indie or cheapy houses but um i will say this that you know for example with uh with dua some of them are great some of them are like you know they added something and it's like that something doesn't really work with me but with happy land like they just they just develop quite naturally quite nicely um and uh yeah i mean for 55 dollars minus the 25 percent discount i mean you're getting a deal man i mean for what 100 bucks maybe you can get like kind of all of these all this top five right now um but yeah those are those are uh what ej said is his top five um i know you guys are probably wondering what my top five is um I, I, that is very tough for me because i would have to really really test all the 15 fragrances okay but uh yeah um great stuff it's great stuff great great stuff to own and uh, great for people that are, uh, you know, definitely on a budget, but you want something quality. You don't want something that you're paying cheap, but then it's still cheap. You know, that this is my biggest irk. You know, it's like pay cheap, you get cheap. Okay, that's not the case with this one here, Happy Land. You pay cheap, but you get good. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's it, guys. Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to review the other stuff. I'll review uh, Manch next. Um and stay tuned for that okay and again don't forget to subscribe guys all right and watch our videos i'll be back with some more happy land very soon all right until then it's troy d talk to you soon